so I'll just use this as the backdrop of the video. Um, I got into one of my old channels uh, through a back way, and this was sent seven months ago, so forgive the delay. I've never said once I believe in a work salvation. I believe that the Bible teaches salvation. That works. Big difference. I don't work to get saved. I work because I am saved. Ducks don't quack to become ducks. They quack because they are ducks. That's just what ducks do. A, sal a salvation that does not work is dead faith of which no one will enter into heaven thereby. Easy believism is a dangerous doctrine that will send each who believes it straight to hell if they think they can live as they are <coughs> and not live as they are and not be changed after having encounter with the God of the universe. Um, well, That sounds more like, again, maybe I can clear up this dispute. That sounds more like work salvation again. I'll tell you why. Um, because what are the signs of our salvation? What's the induction into the new covenant and the assurance of our salvation? Baptism in the Eucharist is 100% biblical. Baptism is not an outward sign of an inward change. Um, when you become a Christian, um, when you are become a son in the Son, uh, that does begin to change you, right? Internally. But the old man wars with the new man. And many times... The awareness of, maybe I shouldn't do that, maybe that's wrong, increases sin. You actually wind up sinning more. But uh, we're given the Eucharist as an aid. Uh, confession is talked about. Um, not the way the Roman Catholics do it. That's not mentioned in Scripture. Um, but the Church, which is the pillar and support of truth, um, that's uh, Timothy 3... 15, I believe. Um, 1 Timothy 3.15, yeah, the church is the pillar in support of truth. Um, <coughs> and that we're going to follow the traditions of the apostles and not stray from the traditions and to follow not only what was written but also the traditions that were taught in person. Um, if you are a true member of the church. This word Christianity came along later. I remember uh, a believer, uh, a part of the church, however you want to define that. It does change you. You start to struggle inside. But watching, seeing somebody smoke or seeing maybe somebody slip back into whatever they do, maybe it's having sex with a bunch of guys, maybe it's doing a bunch of drugs, Hell, maybe it's getting in a fight with somebody. Is that proof that they're not saved? What if their life gets worse after they become Christian? See, because it's not dependent on us. Um, it changes us. We, we, the struggle begins between old man and new man. Um, but I always find it funny that the faith alone people are always the people who, um, since they can only be assured of their own salvation and not that we, we are saved together as one community bound to Christ, um, the, the bride of Christ, um, that they wind up judging other people or looking at other people's behavior or they really, you know, I mean, what, what's the criterion? Even until and after Martin Luther, it was if you were baptized, you're a Christian. If you were baptized and taken the Eucharist, you're a Christian. And uh, that is, even if it wasn't your choice, 
hell, the Old Testament, the Old Covenant, children didn't choose to be circumcised, but they were brought into the the covenant of Moses. Now we're bought, brought into the new covenant. So that preaching about, you know, you begin to act differently depends on what God calls you to do. And uh, no, there are exceptions. I mean, what if somebody's suffering from severe depression? If they're not cured of severe depression and they're somehow damned to hell, um, I don't buy that. I Again, it just sounds like more work salvation to me. And this is to you enjoy Christ, I think was the name. Peace to you, and uh, please pray for the Christians in Syria.